Hey guys, Deb here from Coastal Ridge Reloved. Um, welcome back, or welcome if you're new here. Uh, this week we are going to be making over a vintage handmade, um, it's like a large apothecary inspired piece. Uh, it has been a challenge. It's been a long, long long process um we've had a lot happening over the last few weeks we've had covid and my beautiful niece freya passed away but trying to get back into it keeping busy and hopefully um if you like the video you can subscribe if not that's fine but please like subscribe and hit the bell for notifications thank you just removing all the hardware on this piece we won't be reusing it, so I will remove it all and put it away for a future project. Going through, giving it a quick vacuum and cleaning with my Katsa Millie clean cut. Prep work's the most important step, so don't ever skip it. So here I am just mixing uh, up some builder's bog. So it's a two-part process. The red hardener goes on top of the white putty and the more you add, the quicker it hardens. Uh, this was, I'm suspecting, two cabinets joined together to make one. So I don't mix up big batches. I make small batches, even if that means I've got to make four different lots of builder's bog. That's what I'll do because it hardens so quickly and you'll be wasting so much product if you make one big lot. Just sanding off any excess builder's bog here. Uh, then I'll be going over and giving a quick stuff sand. I'm just going to be doing some minor repairs. Um, well, I've just finished some minor repairs, sorry. So I've just taken off the drawer stoppers, but I'll be replacing them so I can just sand in here because they're quite, um, quite tatty. And I've just filled in some areas here. And down the bottom here, I've filled in where, because it was, I think it was two cabinets that were made into one. So I've just filled that in to make it more of a seamless sort of finish. Um, so I'm going to get all these little bits off here, um, sand these bits, and then I can start painting. Um, I'm also going to sand down the drawer fronts. Just sanding all the drawer fronts now uh also going to sand down the sides and the bottom just to give it a little freshen up um i'm going to be going for the industrial apothecary type look um i haven't 100 percent decided on the color but the drawer fronts will be stained a darker stain <laughs> Stuff out of the 
Seaweed and water. Seaweed? Doggy, Debbie! Shock is scary. I did decide to prime the piece because I went through to the raw wood. Um, I usually wouldn't bother, but I want a nice, consistent, smooth base before I start painting. Um, yeah, just ensures that there won't be any dry patches or inconsistencies. I'm going to start painting, so going with my favourite black, which is my Carter Millie Black Bear. It's um, in, in their mineral paint, and we'll be using my sleek 50ml brush. Just finished the second coat of the Black Bear. Um, and now I'm going to be staining the drawer fronts. So they're all sanded back. I'll be using my Carts and Millie Washed Away in How Now. Um, water sprayer and my foam applicator. Um, as usual, I will be listing all of the items used in my description. Okay, so light change in the game. I'm gonna fill up these hardware holes because, yeah, I thought the other the hardware holes would be different. I'm just going to fill up all these, sand it, stain it, and then I'm going to seal my piece. So I'm sure you don't want to watch me sit here and play with wood filler. So I'll speed it up for you. So, I've got to take all the drawers out, sand down the fronts, restain those, um, seal the whole piece, and I've just decided, hmm, I might put legs on it. So, now I've got to do that as well, but it'll be worth it because it'll be, look excellent. So, last minute decision. Um... I don't like that you can see the old hardware holes. So I'm, I still want to appeal to more to the male side. So I'm going to do some stripes with my painter's tape just across the top. So I've got all these 12 boxes to go. And I've just marked them out using the tape measure, of course, but just along my tape measure so I know where the top of each piece of tape was and get <laughs> Bye.
I'm still on this piece. It's taken three weeks now just to get to this point. Um, I've just had so much going on. We've had COVID, we've had gastro, we've, my niece passed away a couple of weeks ago. So, um, I'm finally, I'm ready to start going, you know, get back into it right now. So I'm trying to knock this piece off. I've decided to, um, seal it with the Carts and Millie Boutique top coat. Um, and because I'm doing black, I'm going to add some of my black bear into this just a little bit, just so it doesn't cloud. So just a little bit. Mix her up. Just an old paintbrush that I forgot to wash. back now on what we started with i'm pretty sure it was two cabinets that had been joined together at some stage but in any case it's just an, a beautiful old handmade vintage piece um and i'm really happy with how it turned out uh would fit into any man cave garage teenage boys room just it's up to you really but i'm so happy with the result i uh, hope you liked this week's video guys as usual, all the links will be in the description of any products used. Um, just letting you know that the Carts and Millie links are affiliate links. So it doesn't cost you anything, but it does help me out. Um, yeah, so it's been a long, a long road getting this one done. It's taken me three weeks. Just had so much going on. But thank you so much for watching. Um, please remember to like, subscribe and hit the bell if you enjoyed this video. And just to get updates on new videos being released. Thank you.